Water Master Digital Output D01 Controlling a Relay Water Master has three opto-coupled NPN transistor outputs that can control a maximum of 30 volts DC at 220 mA. This video will illustrate how to electrically connect the output D01, as an example, to control a relay with over-voltage protection. The three outputs are taken from terminals 41, 51, and 61. They share the common terminal 42, 52, 62. Inductive loads must be suppressed or clamped to limit voltage swings. Most relays have variations that have built-in snubbing circuits but there are those on the market that do not. When driving a relay with water master's digital outputs they must be protected from over voltage conditions. These over voltage excursions will destroy the driving transistors of water master's digital outputs. This video will offer common methods used to limit these voltage excursions. Snubbers are energy absorbing circuits used to suppress the voltage spikes caused by the circuit's inductance when a switch, electrical or mechanical, opens. The most common snubber circuit is a capacitor and resistor connected in parallel across the switch or transistor. The time constant of the snubber circuit should be small compared to the shortest pulse on time. All relay manufacturers publish the specifications for relays. With this information and your application requirements calculation of the snubber values is simple. Knowing the open circuit voltage, switching frequency, and coil characteristics of your relay the RC values can be determined. A 680 ohm resistor in series with a 6.8 microfarad capacitor wired across terminals 41 and 42 will snub the voltage excursions caused by the relay coil. Before snubbing the transistor the voltage excursions exceeded the max rating of the transistor. After the snubbing circuit is installed the response is slowed and the voltage excursions are limited to safe values. RC snubbers are effective but have limited frequency response due to the time constant. For inductive loads flywheel diode configurations are more practical. When the transistor turns on, current flows through the relay coil establishing a magnetic field. When the transistor turns off the field collapses inducing current through the coil, this current creates the over voltage condition that destroys the transistor. The diode across the coil will begin to conduct the current back through the coil when the voltage reaches the forward conducting voltage of the diode, usually less than 1 volts DC. When the transistor turns on the current passes through the coil, through the collector emitter junction of D01 to ground. The magnetic field builds around the coil. When the transistor shuts down the collapsing magnetic field induces a current. Instead of building a voltage across the high impede ins. The diode conducts dissipating the current, preventing the voltage excursion. Diode selection is simple. It must be selected to block the applied voltage and be able to handle the peak current from the coil. This is Cliff McEwen. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for additions and updates. If you have any questions or comments please contact me at abbwarminsterflowguys at gmail.com.